This is my last lecture by Paul Hackett. I've learned a lot from my four years at Chatham High School. Let's start from the beginning. During freshman year, everyone has to get used to the changes of a different environment, more work, more responsibility. I remember always being nervous about not knowing what I wanted to be when I got older. Um, and there's a lot of options freshman year as to what classes to take, um, what's available out there. And I didn't know if I'd you know, find the right thing for me. Um, but you learn to try a lot of things so that eventually once you try everything, you can narrow it down into something that you do like. I learned pretty quickly what sports I liked and what sports I did not like. So you do what you want to do and you get better at it. I fell in love with Harley Quinn. I learned that I do not like asparagus. And I had to leave behind uh, Pokemon, which was an integral part of my childhood. And Goku, even though you can destroy towns with laser beams. And of course, all the Jedis um, were my mentors up until eighth grade. And the Joker, needless to say anything. So sophomore year for me was when my life started to take a uh, distinct path and I started learning um, some stuff about my character and what I'd be best at doing later on in life. I was getting better grades in math and science so I knew that I wanted to do something orientated around that and uh, memorization for history was just not uh, working out for me so that helped in determining what area I wanted to start studying and the summer of my sophomore year a lot of activity going on. Early that summer my good chum and I, uh, Michael Hosbein, uh, took down the octopus challenge at Hoffman's Ice Cream down at Spring Lake and uh, this may not sound like a legitimate feat but in my mind it marks how a serious level of determination can be rewarded um, even though we just got a t-shirt um, it was really huge for me. Shortly after that I went to Germany on a German exchange trip um, Andrew Winter um, accompanied me on that and that was pretty life defining because you know you're, you're in a foreign land you're learning the culture um, that you've been learning in school but it's a completely different experience you meet new people who you'll be connected with for life and three weeks by myself definitely gave me a new sense of independence and responsibility my grandparents uh, Chief and Omi um, took my family and Andrew on a trip to Ireland that same summer um, so we're, we were really getting our international experience in we milked a couple cows, which helped show me that perhaps being a farmer was not the best career path. I also started to settle in culturally, if you will, um, with music and a couple movies that I watched. And bang, junior year. While fairly stressful with SATs and college shenanigans, um, junior year proved to be one of my most important years so far in my life. A lot of twists and turns that have contributed immensely to who I am right now um, and they've given me a really good insight into how I should be spending my life after college. The new additions to the mix were movies and camping slash exploring. So I had to make a movie for health class and it actually turned out really good and I had an exhilarating time making it. If I were to do something when I get older that would truly make me happy, it'd be filmmaking. Because when, I, when I'm doing it, it doesn't feel like work, it just flowed naturally like, you know, the Colorado River, if you will. And um, I really had a great time making it. Towards the end of that year, I went on a camping trip with a couple of my friends to Harriman State Park. Beautiful. Life changing. Thirst. A genuine thirst. Taking a step back from all the distractions in Chatham and uh, after the stressful year was culminating, this really um, was a defining moment for me because I learned to really bond with nature, um, get out there, and the thirst that you feel, honestly, was unreal. Um, so when we got back, we went to the diner. Uh, I got a milkshake and a cheesesteak, and that was the most glorious milkshake, really meal, overall meal, that I've had in my life. Um, so I guess you really don't know what you have until it's gone, and that trip really made me appreciate what I have.
my English teacher last year, Mrs. Gagliade, um, really instilled um, the American dream and the sense of adventure into me. Um, I'd never been much of an English kid, uh, but she taught me how to appreciate the subject and uh, expanded my capacity for reading and writing a lot, um, which I think also added to the filmmaking. And yeah, it was just like a back and forth cycle. Um, so yeah, John Grady Cole in uh, All the Pretty Horses, one of my favorite books that I've read, um, just that adventure through Mexico really gets me going. And so I'll be off to have it for college next year. So they've got great math and science program. They got an engineering program with UPenn film school with Bryn Mawr, um, and I'll be uh, playing lacrosse there too. And they've also got a strong German department, so I plan to study abroad, and hopefully I'll be able to maintain all the different passions that I've developed so far. Now it's senior year, coming to a close. A scary thought to think that after 12 years with many kids, we'll all be scattered into the wind. It is funny though, because just like I have started to narrow down my options and my passions, um, I see my friends for something. Each person has started to become more specific into what comes naturally to them and what they will go on to do in their lives. As my days at home are numbered and I start to reflect on my childhood and everything leading up to this point, I realize that my family really has been an integral part in getting to where I am. and. It's sad to think that so few days are left, so spend as many moments as you can with your family. Be as kind as you can every morning. Don't snap at your mom like I do. Um, and really cherish all the moments that you have because once, once the days are getting counted down, it really hits you. So Drew and I are planning to get a couple more camping trips together this last summer before we depart um, even though the first time he went camping he got Lyme's disease <laughs> so Mike and I teamed up again this time for the physics Olympics and we built a roller coaster that came in first place uh, in the state championship somehow um, we did put a lot of work into that and we were pretty proud of it once we were done this year in English I liked the concepts um, that Albert Camus um, described in The Stranger, um, and I'm going to try to live by that a little bit more. There was one scene in the jail when Rousseau and his girlfriend were talking in a lower voice but soft over the tumult, um, and they could still hear each other just because it was different from the background noise, and um, I thought that was a very theatrical scene. I could picture it in my head for a movie. A lot of the other scenes I could as well, so that one stuck with me. So really just in a quick summarization um, of my advice to anyone listening to this is find your passion. It may be a couple things, but start with a broad array of possibilities, narrow it down to what you enjoy, and um, when you do actually find something that you enjoy, it's really sweet. Um, it really makes the time fly by, which is, makes you wish that you could do it all the time, and um, success comes easily when you're doing what you like to do. So be like Merceau and John Grady Cole and go on your adventures, discover new things that you like, and work hard at the things you do like. Hopefully this isn't actually my last lecture because that would make this really sad. But uh, shout out to Fergalicious. Keep your wits about you. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Don't be afraid of the shadows, because where there are shadows, there's a light shining nearby. And that's the end. <laughs>